what's up everybody, my name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough. We're ready to go on Operation Shadow Walker where we need to recover an item from an advent train. And after last time I did some research on the rulers, but we'll talk about that once we're right into the mission. So uh, let's go! Dropping in on downtown Marseille in France, which it doesn't really look like, but hey! Menace 1-5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. So we start in concealment, which is good, because uh, apparently the alien rulers were a lot more scary when they were first released. So let's talk about that a little bit while we move up. Because... Uh, as we saw, they only react on actions that they themselves can see. Uh, and also actions that don't cost, uh, well, that cost an action point. So they don't react to something like lightning reflexes and they don't react to concealed units taking an action. Um, which makes it a bit more manageable, not that I knew that before going in. But uh, originally they reacted to everything, even actions from uh, like VIPs and stuff like that. So that's uh, a little bit creepy. Um, but that means there's a few tactics we can use to deal with them. Even though they're still very, very difficult to deal with. Um, but before we... Uh, I mean, I hope we don't come across them anymore. Um, but let's move up. And there we go, a trooper, an officer, and a purifier should be fine for now. And there we go, we have them right next to us here. Um, which means I could probably take advantage of that. But let's try and get a little bit closer first, although the, um, the cover here isn't ideal. And I would love to keep Erica over there, so that would mean that I need to get... Oh yeah, this is, that cover is even inside. So I think ideally we should start this off with a grenade. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to throw one over there without hitting the cover that, yeah, Elena is hiding behind. So either we move up a little bit, exposing ourselves. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So now I can toss a grenade over the cover over here. I shouldn't probably take out too much of the cover, but I'm guessing all three of them are up here now. So let's just blast away this wall. Yeah, let's take everything we can with us, although I shouldn't probably take that pole down. There we go. First hit of the match. There we go. Down the hole. And biggest boom, so a critical on the trooper. And that reveals us. There we go, the purifier was there as well, but I probably didn't hit it. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, and she spots... He spots Selena as well. He spots Selena as well. Um, we have another heavy. Or we have our sniper shots. I have one... Haha, -ha. I have one flank shot here. Let's see what else we have. We have Erica shot uh, 67, 57 and 41. Which isn't ideal. Running gun wouldn't help us either. But her shot might be pretty good if I get her close enough. Oh, never mind. I don't have running gun on this. On Emily just yet. That is interesting. So might have moved a bit too soon there. And I can't put... Christina close enough. She's out of range anyway so let's just try her sniper shot like this and that's a miss okay had to try then Erica can do the exact same thing 67 percent so if I can down that officer that's the biggest threat taken out yeah ooh, that was a critical but not a kill damn it that was close okay um, that means that I should probably take the 100% shot from Elena. There we go. 11 damage, holy crap. Let's put Elisabetta a bit closer, she's our last trooper. Could toss another grenade in. But it's not gonna hit both of them, so I should probably flash at the moment. There we go, flash down. 
down lane. Probably not the best position to do that from, so uh, we do get biggest booms and a bit of extra damage. But that's it. Double flash on the purifier and the trooper. So they're gonna try and fire at... Ah. Emily, but they miss because of the disorientation. And then the purifier gets a little bit closer, but that's probably not a good position. He's gonna try and flame three people there? Or not? Okay, that's actually really good. That is really good. Um, let's put Elena... She doesn't really have any cover anymore, but uh, let's put her over here. I am trusting you. Yeah, I know. And then just fire at the trooper, because you'll be the only one really able to fire at them. No one will mourn them. So down right there, and then Emily. Emily can probably move over here. Closing on target position now. And do a nice flank shot on the purifier. It sh wouldn't kill them. Unless with a critical, of course. And I think we moved back far enough not to get hit by anything. Okay. And another ability point there. That's great. Um, let's move everybody up a little bit further. So, next turn, that Shadow Elena again. Oh, and that tower is a bit annoying, of course. Do we have a specialist with us? Wait. Didn't we have... Oh, no. I forgot. It's not Emily. Uh, well, it is Emily. It's not uh, Sarah, because Sarah looks pretty much the same with her helmet, but uh, we don't have a specialist right now, so that's a little bit annoying. Because I, of course, um, now put Elena back into shadow <laughs> in that tower, so if I move her, she gets spotted immediately. So let's just try somebody else. I can put Marina right next to the tower, that wouldn't be a problem. I don't know if she can actually... Ooh, okay. That's not a problem. A codex and two vipers. No place for you to go now. There we go. Could use the blaster launcher. But that would be a little bit overkill. Who has the blue screen rounds? Can I actually see that? There we go. That should be a good start. So let's throw the claymore over there. The shrapnel claymore. Uh, and then if I fire at it with Elena, that should not be a problem. And we can blow up the Viper and the Codex. And I think that even kills the Viper. There we go. But we get a clone. A clone of the Codex. And I think we can even see that clone, right? Yeah, right over there. Um, the shot on the Codex are fine. So let's do that with Erica. 90%. Easy peasy. That was a miss. What'd you expect? But, well, I would hit expect that again. We missed another 90% shot. This has become a trend. Another trend I really like. Ah, that one guy is really annoying. So there's one guy all the way in the back. That codex over there is really annoying because he might mess with us a little bit. But Christine actually has a 62% shot on him. I'm gonna try that. And there we go, she even hit him. So that's Codex is down, we only have the Vipers to deal with now. Um, and I think I'm just gonna move up. So move Emily into full cover as well, so she's ready for the next turn. Uh, Marina sh shots are usually bad, so I'm just going to put it on Overwatch. And then same with um, Elisabetta over here. I can move it a little bit closer. But other than that, I just need to put it on Overwatch. He's just going to fire. And that was a miss. There is another thing on the train. I saw a second health bar there. But the Viper is really aware of its good position. So that means that we're just going to have to take out that position. So he it's not that good of a position anymore. Elena can be reloaded. As long as she's in range of that tower. That's not really good, is it? Um, we have a sniper shot, but that's only 35. 
So I'm guessing we should just try and do some demolition. But first, I want to see what was that second... There's a health bar in the train. Or is that the train itself? Because we need to recover it from the train, not blow it up. That's a bit weird. Um, so let's move Marina up one block. Like over here, for example. And then let's remove the cover of the Viper. So demolition. It's only 82%, but at least... I think we did. Yeah, we removed the cover from the Viper. So now this should give us some free shots with some of our lower level people. Um, I'll keep the snipers for last. Just because. Um, Emily. Now you have a nice shot on that Viper. Can you actually kill it from here? Confirmed. I'll move you a little bit closer. Hopefully don't trigger anything. 77%. And you do that with your fancy new weapon. There we go. Straight through. Target neutralized. Indeed. Um, so let's move everybody up. I want to play Flight of the Valkyries right now. I've put everybody quite out in the open. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Uh, so I'm going to reload and overwatch with everybody here. So uh, yeah, and I needed to reveal Elena as well. Because I couldn't cross the bridge in any other way. I hope this bridge stays up, by the way. Menace 1 5, the clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. We have three more turns to do that, and it's right here, so I'm not really worried, Bradford. So let's see. Who do we move first? I think Marina should probably move first. So if I can get her. Yeah, let's put her over here in cover. She's not gonna get hit by fire. Nothing just yet. Let's do the same with Elisabetta. For some reason, she has quite the movement range. Uh, so let's put it over here. Because the grenades, we can toss them wherever. So if we need to move around, we can do that with the other troopers. With the other Valkyries. Okay. Elena over here in full cover. I don't think she ca catches fire. And I think the, the powered armor should probably protect against fire as well. Now... I'm one turn away of being able to, well, one movement away to being able to put Erika on top of the train. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Because we might be in trouble otherwise. Ah, uh, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but I want to move Emily up to here. So she can get in next time. Let's do that anyway. I'm stubborn like that. Doesn't seem like we trigger anything. We don't? No, we don't. Because there needs to be at least one more pulled. So I'm gonna put everybody on Overwatch again, and next turn we'll uh, move in and grab that Serum Toxicity Report. Oh, we got incoming. We got incoming. So that probably means I should move everybody up closer, but there's at least one more pod, and I feel like it's gonna be at the other side of the train. Um, but let's move Emily up. Heading out. Probably triggering the last bolt, or not? This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Since we can hack the chest, her hack stat is going to be terrible, so I'm not going to get anything useful out of this. I could go with an, another facility lead. Um, yeah, fail. No, no problem. Um, yeah, just do that. We're not going to get it. Ooh, that was actually pretty close. Disarm the detonator. Successful. We're good to go. And I don't see anybody else here, so we get the serum toxicity report. Got some target target package secured. Secured. Okay. This one five acknowledged. The package is secure. Be advised, reinforcements are inbound. Eliminate all hostiles threatening the AO. Okay, so let's move everybody closer. And get ready for that ambush. I'm not going to put anybody on top of the roof just yet. On top of the roof of the train. Because I don't want to trigger whatever is behind the train. So I'll just move Erika uh, to the full cover over here. And put everybody on Overwatch. So there we go. Dropping in. And it is at least a Lancer. I saw a Lancer. A mech. And is that two Lancers? No, another trooper. Okay. Should be manageable. We're right next to them as well, so... 
I know you're flanked. Stop panicking. There we go. Let's blast them all to hell. Boom! Burning. Dead. Down. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Fire on the Mac. Fire on the Mac. Let nobody fire on the Mac. Well, that's annoying. What is a Mac going to do? He usually goes into Overwatch, but I don't see him doing that now. Although he is already on Overwatch. Oh. Oh no. Oh crap, Sectorbolt. Oh, this is interesting that we haven't brought a single specialist. So we can't take over any of the mechs. If only I would have remembered who has the blue screen rounds. I'll, I'll be able to see that in a second, by the way. So, not that much of a problem. I can blow something up. I can blow up the entire train. Is that gonna help anybody? If I do that from over here... That takes out... Ah, oh, I can't move my cursor off to that, but... Where is it? No, it wouldn't reach the sector pulled. This is bad, by the way. This is really bad. Um, I was hoping we wouldn't trigger them just yet. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. I mean, big problem. Let's first see who has the blue screen rounds. Okay. Judging from the damage, I feel like Emily with a shotgun has the blue screen rounds. That is interesting to say the least. So we know there's another mech and another trooper around. This is going to be interesting. Um, I'm not going to be able to freeze the robot. Or any of the robots. Um, and I can't hit both the sector bolt and the... Whew. Let's move Elisabetta over here. Oh crap, Overwatch. Oh, I forgot about the Overwatch. Yeah, that's... That's completely my fault. I think Elisabetta might die then. Although she has the health kit. Six, uh, six healing, but I need to use that uh, plasma grenade. Um, I need to use that now. Although it's not necessary. I should probably just focus on myself first. There we go. Let's heal her up. That was stupid. I should have fired on the, uh, on the mech first. There we go. Um... Now, shredding on the mech. That's shredding at least. Hard target, minimal damage. Then, uh, we should probably just do lightning hands and then a normal shot. Although she only does up to four damage. That's not great, is it? Elena can do quite a bit. She does... I don't think she ignores armor, right? She only does that if she's, she's in shadow. Or does it? Oh, but it does shred. That's interesting. So I could shred already part of the sector bolt. Even though the sector bolt is in a really good position to just fire at everybody here. Um, so I moved Emily back a little bit so she's in full cover. I don't know how much the sector bolt can actually move through the train. I guess we'll see in a second. I could fire at the mech, but... I think it's high time that we use the Mimic Beacon here. Let's put the Mimic Beacon out somewhere that the Sector Bolt can see. So he can fire at that. So Mimic Beacon over there, our panic button, basically. Right over there. Then, I think Elena should fire at the Sector Bolt. Although the Shredding wouldn't be bad on the Heavy Mac as well. That's, that's also better, I think. Shredding on the Heavy Mac. There we go. So that's five damage. And then we can actually finish it off with the Shadow Shot ability. So Shadow Fall turns Christina into concealment again. Which might give us another chance at moving into a better position. And I think I should actually put Erika over here. If I can put Erika up top on the train and hunker her down... She might be able to see something nice. I know this is an explosive train and I might have just killed her. But, uh, ah, the mech is also on top of the roof. Kind of forgot about that. But, hunkering down. 
So I'm hoping the Sectopod goes for the Mimic. I think he... Does he? He's walking around a little bit. And that was two moves, right? Two moves and then he can fire. Yeah, he fires at the Mimic. Wow, the Mimic Beacon was killed in one go. So I'm glad I wasn't hit by that. That was 15 damage. Ooh! God, and I think, yeah, that just revealed... That just revealed Christina again. And Emily is flanked. Oh, Nelly. Ah, uh, explosives. Okay. And then the shield barrier. Fuck. He's gonna pop shields. This is not good. Uh, so first things first. Grenades. Grenades need to go out there. So I'll put... Elisabetta, how far can you shoot that? So that should probably be enough if I put you over here. In full cover. That's another weird way of doing that, but there we go. That she actually uses her grenade to pop both the... Yeah, both the shield bear and the sectopod. That should shred armor as well. I hope. Please? Please shred armor? Oh, that doesn't shred armor. That's not good. Because of the shields. So I'm, pull I'm gonna pull Christina back a little bit. She still has a few shots she can take. Um, but I need to move everybody out just in case that I want to really do something here. I'm gonna put Emily out of sight. So like over here. Understood. Moving out. So she can fire at the mech in a minute. But I need to shred that armor still. So that means that... Elena is going to go over here, behind full cover. Says I am to obey. She can still shred. So let's do that on the heavy mech. There we go, two shredding. I hate the armor. Then... Emily can probably kill it. Uh, 13 to 15 damage, so that should probably kill it. There we go. So that's that mech taken care of. And I get a free action. That means that I'm just going to go into Overwatch with her. I'm on it. Then Marina has the Blaster Launcher. So if I manage to keep her out of sight, which I'm not going to be able to, I think, uh, I can use the Blaster Launcher, because I think that's a guided projectile. I can move that around obstacles, right? Fire a guided Blaster Bomb at a target area. So I think this is still an option. Ooh, Nelly. So, Blaster Bomb incoming right there. I'm hoping that works. She's gonna, she's aiming it upwards, so that's gonna be... There we go, okay. And a lot of shredding. That tank also exploded. So, we did at least do some damage. Um, who is Christina bonded with? Marina, actually. That's actually really good. Let's do that again. With our remaining grenades. If I can, because I'm not sure that I can even toss that over there. I can. Okay, another grenade on top of that. And that sh might actually take care of the uh, the shield barrier there. But it's going to shred the armor of the sector pot completely. So we can focus on killing it on the next turn. Boom. There we go. That's a, cr ooh, that's a critical on the shield barrier. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, so we only have the sector pot. Well, I say only. He might actually kill... Somebody on the next turn. Um, 100% right now. And what's it with Dead Eye 79? I should take the extra damage. I should take the extra damage. Take a shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost. There we go. 79 on the sector pod. There we go. 10 damage with Dead Eye. She has height advantage. That doesn't mean too much in this case because the sector pod can actually do that. Yeah, gain height advantage. He's gonna kill her. Okay, she survived. I think he can fire twice, though. Please don't. Oh, God, Nelly. Rod cannon? What the fuck is a rod cannon? I think that's something we can stop, right? 
I think I need to get Erica from that rooftop as well. Because <laughs> that might actually explode. Um, There's a few people without our ammo now. That is, yeah, he's firing at the, the, the compartment here. And that thing can explode. I think I can pop Emily out here and just fire at him from wide open spaces. Um, ooh, please, please don't end your turn. I was afraid that I hit that button. Uh, I don't have an auto loader on Elena's weapon. I do, however, have another pistol shot with Erica. So I'm going to move her down as well. Let's just see. I want to move everybody who can have a shot into vision. Can I fire with Emily as well? Should be able to with the blue screen rounds. That would be really nice. 74. Okay, that's good. Then Marina... Marina can go over here. Let's do this. And then Christina can go over here. I'm going to put her out in the open as well. So now I think there's nobody left in the explosion radius. Although that thing had a really big explosion radius. I'm just going to start firing at this thing. Can you stop with the rod cannon, please? Um... Doesn't seem like he reacted to that, but that did four damage, which is good, right? Hey, ah, uh, hey, there, there we go, another shot. It's so big that I can't see the damage I'm doing. Um, Elena should probably move out as well. I am at your service. Then another pistol shot, four to five damage. I don't even know if that hits. Probably, I would assume so. And then Emily, please hit. There we go. It's gonna explode. Status confirmed. Hostiles oh. are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay, I need EMP bombs and blue screen rounds. Because that was terrifying. I have four soldiers wounded because of the explosives. That was terrible. And even with all that armor, we clearly don't stand a chance against uh, the bigger enemies. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. Four people gravely, well, three people gravely wounded. Um, well, two gravely, but it's the same amount of days. Elena wounded and Marina lightly wounded. But a Reaper gets a promotion, uh, the second to last rank, and we get Highlands. Soldier can carry an additional Claymore on a mission. That is so good. And banish fire at a target until you run out of ammo or it dies. Reveals the Reaper. What? Banish. That is actually pretty good with a full clip. Because remember, we have shredding on that thing as well. Yeah. I think I'm going to grab both of those. So Highlands. There we go. An extra uh, Claymore. And then Banish. There we go. That's really, really nice. And we didn't even need to spend any of the XCOM uh, ability points. Then Emily gets a promotion. I think... While concealed, gain 25 bonus aim and 25 bonus critical. Or does not trigger Overwatch or Reactions fire. I think Shadow Step, right? Because Shadow Strike is only used once in every mission then, which is a bit sad. So let's just go for a Shadow Step. And then Elisabetta probably gains, yeah, Blast Padding or Shredding. Uh, we saw the value of Shredding today. I could go with Blast Padding um, to better protect her against explosive attacks, but that Shredding is just too good. I might be able to get Blast Padding with some extra ability points, but for now it's not needed. There we go, another Codex Brain, an Illyrium Core. Wait, where the hell did we get that? That's a lot of stuff. Superior hair trigger, alien data cache, a scope, a laser sight, and an autoloader. An autoloader. That is good. I do really need another uh, magazine, but uh, I'm not going to complain about all of this. And the sectopult. This thing looks like something Earth's military planners would have dreamed about controlling 20 years ago. Heavy armor, advanced weapon systems, and yet still reasonable maneuverability in the field. Once we pull it apart, I'm hoping we'll find a means of improving our gremlin designs. Hello. And we get 243 supplies on top of all that as well. So that was really, really good. But Erica has a fear of poison now. Negative trait acquired. But we can heal those off now, which is also really good. We have the infirmary up and running, so that's not a problem. 
Um, so I feel like we're doing pretty fine. Are, is everybody actually in use right now? We still have an open engineer now. Uh, I have a lot of supplies. Can I upgrade the... No, I need extra power for that. But I might be able to upgrade one of the power relays to something more fancy or not. Because I need more power regardless. What can I upgrade, actually? So I can upgrade this, the training center. I upgraded the guerrilla tactics school already, I think. Yeah, we upgraded the infirmary already as well with that uh, upgrade thing. Um, the proving grounds wouldn't probably change anything. No. Um, and the resistance comms just add that extra workstation. So I think I should probably... Although the power relay upgrade is also that, right? No, I can upgrade it to an Illyrium conduit. So 150 supplies and 20 Illyrium crystals gives us 6 extra power. And this is my most upgraded power station anyway. And I think this is instantaneous, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So that's our supplies well spent, I feel like. We're gonna get close to plasma rifles, so in 5 days we get those. So I'm gonna keep the rest of my supplies for exactly that. So we still need that facility lead, so continue scanning. Okay, so Hilda got her negative Some traits removed. Are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. And we get a new contact from the covert action. And we need to apply a new one, assign a new one. Let's see. I could try and recruit a Reaper. So we're gonna do the last part for Hunt the Chosen Warlock. So Christina is gonna go out as the Major on this uh, covert action since she just uh, hit that. I'm gonna hopefully be able to use her later. Um, and then Lisbeth gets the extra dodge. And then for once I'm gonna use Praetor Mox. I'm not using him in an actual mission, so I feel like I'm still obeying my uh, my prerequisites there. And we need to send in a skirmisher anyway, so otherwise it would be blocked. There we go, begin action. Aha, and if we upgrade the resistance ring, we get an additional slot for XCOM to assign resistance orders. That's not that interesting at the moment. Um, I am also gonna see if I can't remove negative traits from another soldier. I can't, apparently. That's weird, because there are other soldiers with negative traits. I think it's Erica, but maybe because she's still recovering. Look at how many people are lying here. That is not good. So I need one more day, please, to make at least a few people recover. Ah, uh, there we go. Kelly and Marina have recovered. Erica as well. And our results have exceeded expectations. And this, of course, this plasma rifle complete. The aliens aren't going to be happy when they see we've got energy weapons just like theirs now. And they look exactly the same. There we go. But now, of course, the difference is that we can manufacture these things and start investigating more advanced versions of these things. Because, of course, we need to research the uh, heavy variants and the... Uh... Ooh, look at that. Oh, and the beam cannon. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be really good. This is going to be really good. So the beam cannon and the plasma lance and the storm gun. There's a few new things here, I might think. So the Powered Shadow Keeper, we can now make that. That's probably just an upgrade. And the Beam Auto Pistol, same for the Bulb. The Bulb Up is a Skirmisher. The Auto Pistol was the, uh, the Templar. Then the Beam Pistol. Plasma Rifle. The Storm Gun. That's the Shotgun, if I believe. Yeah. A novel idea related to the Storm Gun. It's inspired. Oh my god, that is really good. Purifier is instant now, shield bear is instant now, so let's do those two first. Inspired means only seven days for the storm gun. That is really good. The beam gun is of course the minigun and then the lance. Where's the lance? Ah, plasma lance all the way at the bottom. I need the Archon autopsy to do that even. Okay. Shield bear autopsy first. The advent shield bears are quite similar to the bulk of advent's forces and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. 
So there we go. Experimental armor. That's a bit a bit weird. I mean, you could get some fancy fasts out of that, but I don't really need that at the moment. Then we get the purifier instant as well. After a careful examination of the specialized advent unit identified as the purifier, I have found clear evidence of genetic modification to the subject's thermoregulatory gland. These changes, in conjunction with their specialized armor, give the purifiers an impressive heat tolerance, bordering on total immunity. That makes sense. It's also a new unit, so I don't know what I'm going to get from that. Reinforced Underlay Active. Okay, the Advent Purifier Armor features a number of improvements designed by Advent to enhance their tolerance of environmental hazard. We've mirrored some of these changes to increase the durability of our armor underlays. All vest utility items now provide an extra one health. That's on top of everything else. That's really good. And then, of course, I think it's basically the one we need to go for. I would love to break down the sector pod as well. But the storm gun is inspired, so we need to go with that. Now, it's not vital. So I think I'm going to move the story further as well. They certainly do. I'm going to start investigating the black side vial next. Only six days. So uh, that will suspend the storm gun. But of course, we still get the benefit of having it done sooner. So that is that. I could check out... I'm going to check out engineering really quickly to see how much... How many resources I need to actually build the weapons. So look at this. Um, the pistol isn't really that costly. And since we have Christina... Christina is of course out at the moment. But I mean, the plasma rifle really needs to, to be there, right? The Powered Shadow Keeper is actually pretty costly as well. 100 supplies is not nothing, but Plasma Rifle is of course the easy solution here. Let's just do that. And then maybe the Beam Pistol? I'm gonna pick the Beam Pistol as well. There's a lot of sharpshooters in our squad, so we need to grab that. Although the Powered Shadow Keeper is of course gonna be just as useful. Um, let's get the Beam Pistol either way. And then the Powered... The Powered Shadow Keeper, I'm not doing anything with their supplies otherwise, right? There we go, let's grab that as well. So we basically got everything now. Um, and as I said before, I think we need an EMP bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna grab an EMP bomb as well. So that's that, only 50 supplies left. And we have an extra contact now, but we basically have a facility lead right now. There we go, one facility lead. Where is that? Ah, our research team can use them to discover the exact location of a facility. Okay, an ambush. Not now, let's see. Because we can contact another region now. So we have a tower over here. So I feel like we should finish up North America first. How much does it cost to build a radio relay? It costs a lot. I think 250 at the moment, yeah. So I can't build radio relays at the moment. Um, and if I make contact with this, it's going to be 120 because it's too far away. I want to keep my intel as... Well, my intel spendage as low as possible. So I think we have everything here. That doesn't have a tower, but this does. And this does as well. So let's make contact with Eastern US. It doesn't get us close to an alien facility, but we still have one extra over here. So that's not too bad. So let's make contact with Eastern US. And that's instantaneous, so let's just do that right now. Let's skip the cutscene. And we get 50 supplies every month extra from that. I could check out the black... I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna quickly check out the black market. So let's do that. Because we're again at the edge of our contacts, but we're getting close to the Avatar project being done again. So I want to avoid all of that. It's probably gonna be only a few days next so uh, that's why i wanted to focus there we go expanded magazine i really need that uh, i'm gonna use that on erica because erica just needs that um and that's basically all i can do we still have over a hundred intel which is good um i think i'm gonna grab that intel then if there's nothing else i'm gonna grab the uh, ambush over there and grab that extra bit of intel. Our income has dropped significantly because of the Warlock. It's only 414. I would have sworn that was more. But uh, let's continue this. 
Dark event is done, so left behind is a risk of capturing a null covert action. I hope that doesn't work on the one that's already active. Um, and Elisabetta has recovered from her wounds as well. I think we brought everybody back then. Commander, we have the position of a vulnerable UFO that's set down in this region. If we move fast, there's a chance we could recover a nice haul of supplies and equipment. We can't leave that just there, so uh, we need to view that UFO location right there and launch a mission. So we have a Spectre, Elite Lancer, Elite Shield Bear, Officer, Purifier and a Kodak. So nothing too spectacular, so no Sectopod this time. That would be nice. And a healthy batch of supplies. Okay, another dark event complete. The black market is closed for six weeks. Okay. Glad we uh, thought about that before. Why am I going over there? The, the UFO is in Spain. What am I doing in Eastern Europe? Never mind. Let's check out who we're gonna grab on this mission. So this is gonna be the team for Operation Dragon Slayer. Uh, Kelly Brown, Erica Crawford, Jacqueline Morell, Elena Dragunova, Emily Walker and Lena Bowers. So these ladies are gonna come with us to, uh, well, secure a disabled UFO. But before that, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Stay safe and thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.